Welcome back to the XXL Radio Repair Bunker. Also doubles up as the late night monitoring post uh, as well of the amateur radio bands and other frequencies as well. Uh, Today, a Kenwood TS830S has been reborn. And ready to continue on, its legendary legacy has one of the greatest radios ever created. I don't care uh, what it takes. I absolutely do not care what it takes at all. You put a dead one of these on the bench and I'm going to get it going again. And uh, give me enough time, I'll uh, make it perfect as well. If uh, people are patient enough. Uh, Some aren't, sadly, but that's another story. Uh, Anyway, um, this radio would transmit with uh, full power and receive absolutely beautifully, but then all of a sudden full power would drop out. The receive would drop out as well, intermittently, uh, as it was uh, heating up. So uh, it's really common knowledge with these uh, to replace the... Uh, the relays, namely uh, the uh, relays uh, on the underside of it uh, on the AF board that switch uh, the radio circuitry from receive to a transmit that's separate to the antenna relays. The relays on this one had already been done, and so uh, presumably um, somebody else had this uh, radio before and experienced uh, the same issue. Uh, changed the relays over, didn't fix the issue, so hence uh, I got this radio for a good price. So anyway, I did what we uh, always do, start by uh, measuring voltages. Uh, next step would have been to look at the oscillators, but I never got that far uh, to uh, check the uh, oscillators. Because uh, when I started probing around here on the uh, rectifier unit, let's see if I can get a bit of light here, can I shine that light there? When I started probing here on the uh, rectifier unit, I came right back uh, to uh, where you see PD1. Never ties into um, the screen lines, uh, as well as um, as well as the uh, the plate voltages for um, uh, the driver tube, and uh, I found that there was a drop off at that point. I'd measure about two hundred and eighty volts when everything was all fine, then it would fall away to uh, about two twenty when the uh, intermittent issue appeared. Now, to cut a very uh, long story short, these uh, screen lines are critical to the uh, operation of the uh, screen uh, regulation uh, as well as the uh, the driver tube. And uh, you start getting uh, issues uh, in this area. It won't be too long before you uh, affect, uh, before you see issues uh, in the entire radio. So, uh, anyway, um, when I uh, saw that um, the issue would occur as things were heating up. I thought, well, okay, maybe uh, it could be the uh, the final tubes. I'll uh, rule that one out. So I disengaged the uh, screen voltage uh, on those and so that they uh, wouldn't be warming up. The issue continued. So could it have been this guy? Yes, it was. So I dropped in the new driver tube. And now, uh, absolutely fine. But, but, this can be one of those issues where you end up chasing your tail for um, hours at a time. I've seen guys that do it. I've fallen into uh, the trap myself uh, as well. Um, but now, obviously, uh, let's just uh, tune her up here. Take the drive. Dip the plate. Okay, come across the full power. Did that plate. Getting about 100 watts there right now. I'll probably get a bit more. Yeah, it's almost 100. It's fine to do these longer key down periods uh, as well with. Um, 6146s, they're very robust uh, tubes and a good cooling system in there as well. These will do uh, full duty cycle, uh, RTTY. No worries at all. But uh, yeah, anyway. Absolutely no issues now. Audio, hello, one, two. Might going up. 
disengage the calibrator when we do that. Audio, one, two, hello, audio, one, two, hello, oh, audio, hello, audio, one, two. I could tweak that and probably uh, get this over 100 on uh, 15 metres, but, um, you know, with these sort of radios, you see about 90 watts on uh, CW, you're uh, doing pretty well. But, um, yeah, huge lesson to uh, learn uh, there uh, with that. Um, there were also some dry solder joints uh, on the underside of um, uh, this uh, IF board, but that wasn't causing the uh, the issues uh, because uh, I did fix up the uh, the bad soldering on this. And one of these plugs, so uh, like the socket, uh, actually came straight out of the circuit board uh, as I uh, was removing this board. So uh, here's my trusty uh, solder sucker and uh, sucked away the uh, solder on that, reflowed it, and fixed up some other... Um, uh, questionable solder uh, joints uh, here as well, but after I did that the issue persisted So uh, then when I started focusing on this uh, driver tube um, Yeah, changed that over and uh, no worries at all Got a uh, nice General Electric 6146Bs uh, in there as well And then I just had to realign the uh, Out of plate uh, tuning indicator here. I don't know why that was uh, thrown off before because uh, this bad boy didn't even have the work bands uh, enabled so I had to do that one as well. I had to go on the underside to the uh, AF board and clip uh, the blue wire uh, on um, connector 6 where um, you enable the work bands. So uh, this has had a very uh, easy life. And here on the underside, very clean radio. see here where those uh, transmit and receive circuitry switching relays were changed. Always a very good idea to replace these and uh, it's a kit as well where um, these can easily be uh, popped out. The new ones are uh, dropped back in so it's a good modification. But don't always think this could be the issue. Don't get fooled. And, uh, sounding great here in Victor Kilo 3, United Sugar Alpha. Victor Kilo 3, United Sugar Alpha. Roger there, uh, John. Uh, Lima X-Ray 2, Japan, Japan, from Victor Kilo 3, United Sugar Alpha. Very nice signal into Melbourne, into the uh, northeastern suburbs of uh, Melbourne. 
uh, this evening. Uh, the radio is a Kenwood TS 830S uh, that I've just uh, uh, restored back to operating condition uh, after uh, I had intermittent receive and transmit. Uh, so uh, yeah, a very late night uh, last night and a couple of hours uh, this afternoon as well. So I'd, I'd appreciate your report on this one there, uh, John. Uh, let me know how this radio sounds. Lima X-Ray 2, Japan, Japan, from VK3 USA. Over. Okay, I forget my box. <laughs> okay, very good copy, my friend. Uh, my friend Android. So, yeah. Beauty, beautiful um, job, very nice job, your turn saver, because your quality audio is perfect, my friend. Huh? So, my 73, and thank you very much for this uh, uh, child contact, and see you later, VK3, Uniform Sian Alpha, from Lima x to JJ, many thanks, bye-bye. Okay there, uh, John, not a problem at all. Thank you so much uh, for the nice report and uh, appreciate the uh, QSO there, uh, John. And I'm just running 100 watts uh, as well, barefoot uh, from the radio, no amplifiers uh, on this one right now, so pretty happy with that. And the antenna is uh, a two-element hex beam as well, much like what the last uh, station was running. Okay, John, 73, all the very best. Uh, Lima X-Ray 2, Japan, Japan, from VK3, USA. Bye-bye. Yes, very beautiful job, your antenna and your transceiver and your station, and you also. <laughs> my 73, <laughs> pleasure for me every time, my friend. Uh, stay well, VK3 Uniform Cian Alpha from Lima, it's right to Juliet, Juliet. So, um, uh, um, Andre, my, my, my name is George, George, okay, oh. negative John. George, 73, bye-bye. Okay, George. Uh, sorry about mixing up the name there, uh, George. Uh, usually I cheat and try to look you up on uh, on QRZ, uh, but uh, I don't have the computer by me uh, right now. So sorry there, uh, George. And, yep, it's all about the equipment, uh, but I uh, I try to be the best uh, that I can be as well. Okay, George, uh, thank you. 73s. 73, bye-bye. Thank you. Cheers, mate. All right, so closing comments. I know at face value, it mightn't seem like much. You know, a little driver tube, 12BY7A, causing all of those dramas. But when you first get something like this uh, home, when the history is completely unknown, and the receiver's cutting in and out, I mean, there's quite literally a million different things it could be. Well, okay, not, maybe not a million, but... Uh, there's certainly uh, quite a number of different uh, possibilities. Assuming, of course, we have a radio in original condition that hasn't been uh, heavily modified or had any golden screwdrivers uh, on the inside. Could be dry solder joints. There could be one of the uh, inter interconnecting coaxial cables that have gone bad. Could be a band switch. Uh, you know, could be a, a dirty uh, mode switch. Could have been uh, dry solder joints and the Molex connectors. In this case, it uh, wasn't. Um, the relays are a known issue with these. They've been replaced. It wasn't those. And uh, many people would not think uh, that it could be intermittent shorts uh, within the driver tube, uh, upsetting the uh, rail voltages, as was the uh, case uh, in this particular radio. So, great big uh, massive win. This Kenwood TS830S lives to find another day. So 7.3s from Andrew, VK3 USA, VK2 XL. Bye-bye.